assalamu alaikum welcome to my youtube channel door of knowledge and today's video we are going to design a um, parallel rlc circuit in multisim and we are going to import data in matlab from the multisim okay so how we are going to import data from multisim to matlab okay so first we are going to build a simple rlc circuit so we are selecting the value of 50 ohm resistor capacitor of a microfarad an inductor of 10 milli henry okay we need a source of pulse voltage source and also need a ground rotate all these components connect the ground now select the value initial value will be 0 final value will be 5 5 millisecond and 10 millisecond will be the period go to the interactive part transient in transient it will be 5 maximum time step output will be v2 okay so run it okay so you can observe this is basically the critical damp uh, graph how do uh, i know that this is the critical damp you can see my previous video in which i have calculated each and everything what will the resistor capacitor and inductor for the critical damp <coughs> i will uh, give you the dis uh, link in the description as well so first what we are going to do we are going to save this uh, in a folder so go to the uh, desktop make a new folder with the name of damping this is critical damp so we are naming it with cd okay so if we increase the value of resistor from 50 ohm to 100 ohm it will become over damp circuit this is over damp now again oh i just forgot to tell you that we have to save all the files in csv format so first we are going to save it again save as cd in a csv format save okay now this one this is basically the under damp one save as ud ud is stand for um under damp circuit csv format save now the last one over damp circuit for over damp circuits we need to uh, decrease the value of the resistor <coughs> okay so this will be the graph for the under damp save as ud stand for under damp sorry over damp uh, over damp od csv okay so we have save all three graph in a csv format now we are going to open matlab okay so in this side we have to give the uh, direction of that folder we have we have save uh, these graphs in damping okay select the folder now we are going to import this data so first is cd import data cd send for critical damp it should be comma column vectors import data yes so you you can see in workspace you will find x traces and y traces so y traces is uh, the main concern because x traces means the time okay y traces means the change in the uh, voltage okay so you can rename it with yc yc basically representing the uh, critical damp now import this one cd import now rename it is yo for over damped now we are going to import ud import data 
v u by u sorry okay so in the command window we are going to open a figure first and going to plot y c hold on plot y u for under damped and plot y o for over damped now this will become our new figure and in this figure you can see all three graphs are present this blue one is for the critical damped this orange one is for the under damped and this yellow is representing representing the over damped circuit okay so thank you for the watching this video i hope you like my video so don't forget to subscribe it like it and share it thank you allah hafiz